One of my favorite ingredients, vegetables to use right now during the fall season is butternut squash. And I make a mean roasted butternut squash soup. So easy, it's not even funny. And I'm gonna show you how to do it because this is something that you can A, do for during the week, lunches, dinner, whatever. But when I host Thanksgiving, I love doing a soup course. And this is one of my go-tos. Everyone loves it. It screams fall, it's sweet, it's savory. I do it with a little bit of heat. And it's super easy that I can do it a day or two before because it only tastes better a day or two later. So we can do just regular cream of butternut squash, but roasting it is gonna elevate it. It's gonna give you those different levels of flavor. So I probably need two shake hands. We're gonna put our diced squash on here, tossing it with salt, pepper, and agave. I do it kind of in layers. Um, a little bit of cinnamon, and we're gonna get it in the oven. Oven's at 350, these are going in. The seasoning's all coated all over it, the agave. And I'll do them for around 20 minutes, flip them another 20. We're gonna get our pot going so we can, when this is done, just literally slide foil and put the squash right in. Okay, we're gonna start our base for our soup. So it's two tablespoons of salted butter and around two tablespoons of good olive oil. Just gonna get that melted down with three carrots, one white onion and four stalks of celery, small dice, and four cloves of garlic mince. Your veggies have been going for around 10 minutes. I am gonna add in a teaspoon of dry thyme, and I'm also gonna add in a round tablespoon of coarse sea salt. So this has been going for around 15 minutes. We're gonna add in our two quarts of stock. Butternut squash is hot and out of the oven. It is well roasted, and we're gonna pop this right into our simmering broth. Okay, right. toss this really well, put the lid on, and I'm gonna let it simmer for around 30 minutes just to release all those other flavors. A half a teaspoon of coarse salt. You wanna get yourself an immersion blender, or you can do it in the um, a regular blender, but I have one of the little handheld ones like this. Start pulsating. I'm gonna get this pureed. I do the big chunks first. Instead of using heavy cream, I use one cup of sour cream. It's my secret ingredient on making the perfect butternut squash soup. And there we go. All right, keep blending. Well, do you see this perfect, creamy, rich consistency? Okay, I garnished it with a little bit of creme fraiche. You can add a little chopped parsley, you can do a dollop of sour cream, you can do some sliced apples, you can do croutons. I just wanted it to be simple and pretty, um, mixing that extra little, because it really doesn't have any cream as you see in the recipe. Wow. On point. 